Hello, today we will talk about uh, how to get all possible system configurations uh, based on the alternatives in the model. And as you can imagine, there are multiple ways to do those alternatives. For example, here in this satellite the model, we have alternatives based on the generalization. So all panels could be attached, free access for freedom, two access to freedom. Then optics could be uh, uh, here. If we go to the optics, uh, select and containment tree and uh, configurations not here we have uh, here optics based on the instances right so optics has two properties it has uh, total mass and cost mass and cost and those could be different right uh, and we have those configurations here then also it could be configurations based on the table which would be here selecting containment tree here uh, alternatives uh, coming from the uh, batteries, battery alternatives, as you can see here. And those alternatives are not even, you know, in the instances, they are actually just instance tables synchronized with Excel, but not imported. You know, you can import, like I can read from a file, right, Excel, and that will get in. But, you know, based on the trade study, automated trade study method, you know, you don't need to do it. You can have those alternatives. So here we have all three three methods, you know, and you can run the alternatives uh, analysis, you know, and you can get results. Uh, but how to see all the configurations and which configuration failed? You can actually do it in uh, two major ways. One way is actually you can set up a, a, a instance, uh, uh, set up a, Excel export, CSV export, you see here, with the context of your uh, trade study, and you can put your, you know, properties, whatever you want to get out. And then when you run your simulation here, you see 90 different configurations possible based on the alternatives. Could be thousands and thousands, right? And that's what we have as a request from clients, you know, how to see those thousands configurations. It's not possible to build them manually, right? So here you see exported and because uh, constraints were in the constraints as in the model, you know, you see those constraints here, passed or failed based on the, you know, uh, values. And we have all the configurations uh, with all possible choices. Now, uh, how those constraints get uh, into the Excel. So we selected them in Excel exporter. This constraint is on the property. You see uh, total mass of satellite. This constraint is on property total cost. Uh, and they are based on the requirements. In, I, I was required to extract those constraints uh, but, and connect them in parametric diagram. And also, you know, in the simulation config here, when we specifying what value properties, I can specify them here, those constraints, not only the satellite, batteries, uh, op uh, optics, solar panels, but also the constraints to be added to the Excel. So this is one way to do. And now another way is actually here you can find uh, in the samples directory, you can find uh, configuration uh, scripts. Uh, based on classifier and based on instances, right? So based on classifier would create automatically all the possible choices, uh, instance configurations based on the generalization tree in the model. So how that looks like. So for example, I create, um, create a package here, configurations, configs, system system configs and why to have it because that you could have uh, in in the diagram in the instance table in the model not in excel and this would look like this you know and then i can choose you know for example satellite here and i have instance table you see and based on that uh, instance table this uh, script will generate uh, alternatives but i need to select uh, uh, select what columns uh, as a uh, possible choices I want to have. So, so those properties doesn't matter, but I, for example, want to have uh, um, alternatives based on solar panels because those are the only ones who based on generalization, those two 
would not work with this specific script. So that's the limitation. So now tools, macros, uh, and generalization. So if I run the script, and in the script you can find, you know, documentation how to, to use it, you know. And uh, here you see those alternative generators, so all possible choices generated based on the generalization. There would be more generalizations, it will generate two generated, uh, and I also can create another table uh, and use another script which would generate uh, all possible configurations based on instances. Create element, uh, and that would be not element, but uh, will diagram instance table here and now I need to specify the uh, classifier choose the steps uh, which alternatives will be added to based options and uh, uh, batteries uh, uh, optics and batteries and I also need to have those uh, optics and in instances and batteries also in instances so I need to read from file and also, if I would want to have those uh, generalization-based instances, I would need to create them manually. And I also need to place all of them here. Uh, alternatives, I need to place uh, all of them here in the same uh, package way as my uh, instance table for the alternatives here. And optics, copy. Cut actually here, and now I can go to that second table, which will generate all the variance configuration, and I can go here, macro, instances, yes, and you see all the possible configurations generated, right? So it's configurations based uh, on the optics and the batteries, and I can show the properties. Uh, I can see also the optics properties. Uh, here all the properties with all the values. Uh, total, total. I think does not have value, but uh, the initial ones does have value. And uh, here you go. So now if I will run, you know, uh, even uh, here analysis uh, on this uh, model, and there would be requirement which uh, you know limits, uh, for example, optics total cost. Uh, or even uh, cost uh, here less than four this is requirement if I go to this instance we have all the configurations here optics cost uh, evaluate uh, And also I want to show the legends, uh, display, uh, display, uh, apply legends, uh, verification status, okay. Here we see which requirements, which configurations are uh, verifying requirements, which not. So those two choices, you know, again, Excel and the scripts, uh, you know, the scripts you can add from that macros engine uh, in the uh, Organize macros, just add those two scripts uh, here, add and choose the required script uh, based on the language, and then you can just go here, tools, uh, and uh, run those scripts uh, here, or based on the Excel. Uh, again, you in case of Excel, you need to, like, for example, originally we would have just requirements, then tools, uh, extract constraint block, tools, uh, extract. Uh, constraint block then uh, say visualize uh, display all path display related elements uh, here those two displayed here constraints and then uh, you can go to parametric diagram you see they are empty now here I would take those constraints here to select them containment tree drag them here visualize parameters one another one and then connect uh, 
a satellite cost limit so cost limit and then this one satellite uh, mass limit mass limit and now use those constraints in the simulation config here we will add those constraints to represent the status of the configuration and then you just run the simulation and you get those configurations output so hope that was helpful and those are the choices and i've seen with this model you know and can use this as a result of this solution